Good morning, everyone. Vloggy Punk Show here. Back with another episode of my daily vlog. Whew! I am freaking tired today. It's Wednesday, January 9th. I, I see, I need to get a routine down. That's my goal for today. One day goal. Get down, bookends. I want a, I want a way to start every video, and I want a way to end every video. If you get an idea about something that should be in the beginning or the end of every video, and like like I weigh in and I see what day it is, leave a comment and give me some suggestions about that because I don't know a whole lot around it, but it seems like some videos I mention other things and some videos I don't. Good to be consistent. Anyway, today is gonna be kind of a shorter one because Monday, Wednesday, Friday, my class is an hour earlier than it is on Tuesday, Thursday, so I have less time to work on the video. I'm trying to get my sleep schedule figured out so that I can be awake two or three hours before class starts so that I have time to make something that has editing and interesting things in it. But there's, the reality of it is that some days I'm going to be busier and some days I might oversleep and just have like a half hour to make a video or it's like I gotta record and render it and or record and edit and render and upload and publish it in 30 minutes and I mean you have to make a three minute video so <laughs> I did not mention the month of meals yesterday it's still going on it's still happening let me find my yeah so yesterday I had peanut butter and jelly for breakfast a cheese sandwich for lunch and a salad for dinner it's all right the biggest thing with the month of meals right now is that all these foods are foods I like they're all stuff I enjoy eating the only problem is that without the other junk that I was constantly like snacking on and the cookies and things, I'm hungry a lot. So I'm hoping that this will only last a few days and that my stomach will kind of shrink because I was I was eating huge meals before. Now I'm, I'm keeping the portions very clean. People have questions about this. So when I draw one of these cards and, and, and it says uh, nachos or, or like pasta, it's just one reasonable plate or like one reasonable bowl full of food. Um, I don't go back for seconds on the same thing, and I don't get anything else. That's the whole point, is that I know well, before, before I go to the dining hall for lunch, like, oh, I'm going to have a salad for lunch, and I don't even worry about what's in the other f food lines or what kind of cookies they have that day. It does, it's not even an issue, so it's not even an issue. works out. All right, let's draw meals for today. Oh, this is going to be one of those days where I have to have a fast breakfast, hopefully... Nope, I cannot do a waffle today. <laughs> I cannot. I don't have half an hour to make you use a waffle maker. Spicy brekkie. I need to explain what that is. Let me go ahead and draw a lunch and a dinner. Salad for lunch. That's good. Keep things light. And for dinner, veggie burger for dinner. Cool. I need to add more meals to these things. So I don't have exactly I don't have exactly seven. I need to have like eight or nine so that I have some extras when I get to the end of the week. I don't want it to be totally determined. But then it's no fun just to draw them. So my breakfast. Spicy brekkie is just um it's scrambled eggs and hash browns in a bowl. And I usually get the hash browns with onions in them. They have that option, so I always get that. And then on top of it, I'll put ketchup, uh, sriracha sauce, and mayonnaise. And I'm going to be getting the fat-free mayonnaise. I looked at mayonnaise the other day, and the one packet of mayonnaise is 90 calories. It's like, holy crap. Like, I can't eat, I can't eat regular mayonnaise anymore. That's ridiculous. I couldn't, I couldn't believe that. I, it's like, it's just eggs. I don't, get where, I, don't, I don't get why it has so much fat in it. I, I didn't think eggs were that fatty. I don't know. Anyway, so that's what spicy brekkie is. It's basically just ketchup and hot sauce on eggs and hash browns. And it's really good. It's, it's warm. It's spicy. First thing in the morning, it gets your metabolism going. It's got the protein in the eggs, so your your body gets a moon. It's good stuff. All right, so that's our meals for today. I'll tuck those away in my little notebook here. I carry this little thing around with me all the time, so if I need to write something down that I need to remember for later, I can write it down and remember it. So, oh gosh, what was I going to talk about today? I was going to talk about my my healthiest day. That's right. Hmm. Where do I start? You know, I, when I was in high school, I was a Boy Scout, and I really enjoyed Boy Scouting. I I achieved the rank of Eagle Scout, and I was the 
uh, senior patrol leader of my troop for two years, which is basically means I was the highest ranking youth member. So I was in charge of directing the meetings and I was generally the master of ceremonies for things and helping decide where we, where we went camping and what our fundraisers, how our fundraisers were working. And I was in charge of a lot of things and mostly it was running the meetings. So I was very involved in scouting and if ask any Boy Scout what's the, the best place that every scout wants to camp at at some point and they're, they're going to tell you Philmont Scout Ranch out in New Mexico. Philmont Scout Ranch is oh it was it was donated to the Boy Scouts way back in the day and now it is sort of our mecca of camping where every scout wants to camp there at least once in their life. If they know if they know about it and they know what it is, they're going to well they're going to want to go. It's out in the Sangre de Cristo Mountains and it is spectacular landscape out there. It's the, the the little city right next to it is called Cimarron and it's it's the word for or the the saying that they have about it it's where the mountains meet where the mountains meet the plains and it's essentially that when you're in Cimarron you look to the east and it's almost completely flat. It's just an open plain and you can see really really far and it's it's almost totally flat. It's really kind of weird to see that much open space. You don't have that in Georgia. You look to the west and there's a mountain right there. <laughs> I mean, the sun goes down early because it's behind the mountain. That's how close it is to the town. So it's right there on the borderline where it's flat here, and then there's mountains right next to it. So we, I went hiking in those mountains uh, for 12 days with a crew of 11 other guys, and it was spectacular. I'm going to go into more detail about that trip at some point because it's a, there's a lot of interesting stories around it <laughs> and some really funny ones, too. Uh, and some struggles. We, we overcame adversity like apparently every football team has this year. They keep asking them that question in the interview after the game. It's like, how does it feel to win after overcoming so much adversity? It's like, what, what is this adversity every team is facing? Is it just the other team? I don't get, I don't get why they keep saying that. Anyway, so yeah, we overcame adversity and we hiked for 12 days. You carry everything with you. You leave nothing behind. Uh, we hiked a total of 75 miles in 12 days. And the trail food we ate was essentially carbs and protein. It's all freeze-dried, uh, canned goods, the kind of things that are really, not, not hardly any canned goods because they're heavy, but still. Uh, it's the kind of things that don't go bad and that you can carry with you and cook over a, a little miniature camp stove, which is basically just a propane tank that's on fire. <laughs> and um, it was awesome. The, the amount of exercise, so we were, we were averaging, I guess, well, let's see, 12 days, something like 7 or 8 miles a day, which is quite a bit of hiking when you're in the mountains. It's You burn a lot of calories like that. And then you eat tons of this trail food. You're constantly snacking, constantly drinking like the Gucanade and the mixes for your water. Uh, they People estimate out at Philmont that you are going to burn somewhere between eight and 10,000 calories a day. And you're going to consume somewhere between four and six thousand calories a day. Now, a normal diet, just at, you know, going to the office, sitting at home watching TV, or, or you know maybe even light exercise, you're going to burn two thousand, two thousand five hundred calories. So, getting up to like eight thousand calories a day and burning that much energy is seriously cleansing. Even when you're eating four thousand back in, it doesn't come close to replacing it. On the trip, I, I, I think. I only lost, I lost five pounds in 12 days on this trip, but I put on muscle. I put on so much muscle in my legs that I think I lost even more than that in the amount of fat that I lost. I feel like I put on at least two or three pounds of muscle just in my, just in my uh, quadriceps on those two days or 12 days. So it was spectacular. By the end of this trip, I'd had no junk food for pretty much no junk food for over a whole week. Uh, actually almost two weeks, and I've been hiking every day, sort of, you know, cleansing things. I had not been, I had not been sedentary a single day, no sitting around eating burritos and watching TV. There's all exercising every day, doing activities every day, and we finally get back to base camp after 12 days, and you look at the pictures of us on the, like, on, in, like by the hotel and stuff, but the night before we went out, and then the pictures of us at the final campfire and standing around, and you can... I don't have the pictures anymore because they're on, they're on an old computer and they got lost or I'd, I'd show you the, the, the comparison, but it was really astounding. We all looked a little bit thinner 
and we all like st we, we, it looked like we were standing up straighter. I mean, it was just because we were we were in great shape, and that that was my healthiest day. It was the day that I finished hiking at Philmont and got back to base camp. It was it was a spectacular feeling. I weighed like 155, and I had not an ounce of fat on my body, and it was awesome. That's my real goal is to is to get back to somewhere near there. Now I'm I'm taller, a little bit taller now. I think it's, this is when I was 16, so I think I'm about two inches taller now. So I'm probably not going to get back to 155. But if I could just achieve that level of fitness again, that would be spectacular. So that is the healthiest day of my life out at Philmont Scout Ranch. I hope that was interesting. I'll talk more about Philmont at some point because it's, there's a lot of stories to tell from that place. And some of them are really funny. <laughs> all right, so that's all for today. Um, what else was I supposed to do? Oh, I didn't weigh in this morning. I forgot. Yeah, see, this is why we, this is why we need bookends. So leave suggestions in the comments as to things that I should say at the beginning of every video or at the end of every video. And just to clarify, that Jack stuff in the earlier videos, I, I was planning on using a different moniker for this channel, and I actually decided I didn't like it, and I just wanted to use Poncho again, so I, I moved everything over to this Vloggy Poncho channel and deleted the other one. That's why some of the first videos are kind of confusing. My name is Trevor, it's not Jack. So uh, I think that's about it for today. I'm going to get my... Where's my food? Oh, I put it away already. Get my meals together. I gotta get to class in an hour, so thanks for watching. See you tomorrow morning.